if they didn't want to be there for you when you needed them, should they be there when you're celebrating? Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five channels. All five channel names are pinned at the top of the comments section or description box below. You know, I often remember Grandma saying they weren't there for you during the difficult times, so why should you let them be there to celebrate during the good times? And I think she had a good point there. You know, I look at relationships as solid relationships. We're talking about people who are actually there for you during the difficult times should also hopefully be there for you during the celebratory times. And people who are celebrating with you hopefully will be, will be there with you for the difficult times. I've had people that were not there for me for the difficult times, but they wanted to be there for the party. And so I realized that. And usually I didn't invite them to the party. <laughs> Or I had people that didn't want to be there for the party, that only wanted to be there for the difficult times because, well, they were more of an unhappy type of person. And so being around happy situations didn't make them feel so good. But I could deal more with them because I knew that they were there for the difficult times. But the people that were only what we call good time Charlie, someone who's only there for the good times, well, if they can't be there also for the more challenging times, I'm probably not going to build much of a relationship with them. Okay, from my house to yours, I hope you like, share, subscribe. May Heavenly Father bless you, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.